Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. If you guys are into bands, into groups, looking for some new... This is, my God, I'm trying to remember. It was N-L-Y-B Records, right? So, you yes. got it right? Yes. So, hello, gentlemen. I'm so glad to have you with us. Welcome to Wrap It Up Podcast. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you with us. Thank you. Yeah, we're glad to be here. And we also got to give a big shout out to My Marching Music, you know, for posting about them and that's actually how you know that's actually how I met you was by my merchant music you know which congratulations um of being with them for you know promotion merch you know congratulations thank you yeah no I'm very excited to get more coming out we only have basic shirts right now and basic colors but sending over some new designs so we can get some more merch going on to support us Absolutely, absolutely. And I feel y'all like I had a feeling that you guys were going, you know, a little bit fancy. I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little feeling. <laughs> but honestly, um uh, your music is extraordinary. You know, everybody should know I went on a hiatus for you know groups because I had a concert first of all, but I was doing I was doing a virtual concert. And literally after that, I was like, um, I was like, I kind of forgot about bands for a while. I kind of forgot about them. And and then I came back and I was like thinking of, you know, I was thinking, you know, I need to get back. I need to get back because I miss bands. I did, you know, I did absolutely miss bands because I, I love, you know, watching groups get together and make music. So of the last group before you guys was Cosmos. That was the last group that mm-hmm. actually was here. Um, and so it was nice to get a fresh set. That was nice. Yeah, no, definitely. And there's really not a whole lot of rap groups specifically in our area. Um, and even on my merchant music, I really think there's only two, maybe three other um, hip hop artists. I don't even know if they are groups. Um, but yeah, we're happy to bring hip hop to my merchant music and spread it all over. I'm stoked just as you guys are. And I always wanted to have you because I always pull artists from my merch. We've talked before. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but we've talked before. Like, he's promoted about my show. He, well, I'm actually on the page. He actually has an article about me, uh, which I got to get back to promoting soon. Um, and helped him with signups. So mm-hmm. we've been in talks. Um, so it's it's no surprise you would pick he he would be kind of you guys. You guys are so cool and you guys got it all going. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, no, I'll definitely get in contact. Absolutely. Uh, now the last something that was really cool to see come to life uh, was Beware the remix now. I know it's a little old, and I know that was like in December, but that's like your latest piece of, you know, work. That's your latest, along 
yeah. uh, alongside you know everything else I've, about your latest work you know um so what was up with that because i first of all i was really good what you guys did it looked like a real performance it almost like it almost looked like you guys went to a, a virtual concert how was that yeah. thank you yeah i think crc can definitely speak on that yeah basically um after we recorded the song you know we put it out it was out for a couple months i worked on it for um, a week or two just trying to get everything down um so a couple months later me and max were in the studio and we were just trying to pick out a couple beats and songs and max uh came up with the idea to make a little uh, music video for it and you know we didn't it's not like we did it in such an exotic place we just made it you know in his basement usually in the studio where we make our music and we found the opportunity and we did and you know that's what i want to be doing we haven't shot a lot of music videos um recently or like really in the whole some of it all but you know that's something that we could definitely do especially with our next project coming up that we're working on so yeah um that was one of my favorite songs that i wrote and um, looking back on it i you know that's how i want to continue that and I just look forward to the progress, me and obviously all of us as a collective. Yeah. No, nah, I'll tell you, like, even just the music video in general, it's just so raw and uncut. And even yeah. the the song itself is just so, like, raw. I mean, the only word I could think of is raw. Like, it's just yeah. very underground, showing exactly who we are, showing, mm -hmm. like, the lab rats that we really are, like, always working and... I think just, um I think that was the vibe we were kind of going for too, like just raw, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you said. No, definitely. Definitely. Such such good news, such good things to hear. That was one in particular that I love very much. You know, I I was actually listening with my friend who's hosting a concert in a couple of months, actually. He was like, Yep, they're awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate yeah, that. Thank you. Uh, very much appreciate that. Yeah, of course you guys rock and you guys are you guys are into hip hop, which I was like, because the first thought, you know, because I also introduced him to you guys, he was like, are they like are they gonna are they like cry baby cry? Because that's another one that you know my mm -hmm. merch music works with. Uh, yeah. are, they, are they gonna be like a rock man? Like yeah. uh, is there like a drummer and everything? And I said, they work with hip hop. If you don't believe me, look, they, they're a hip hop um, rap group. I mean, they're, and he and his eye literally went big. Like his yeah. eye, he was, he was like a full shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. Yeah, no, we, we definitely want to get some shows going. I mean, it sucks that it's getting cold, but definitely once the summer comes and you know, more places start to open up. Definitely have a show soon. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that is so good. That is so good to hear. And hopefully it will happen now that you've been on here. You'll be getting lots of messages in the future. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, of course. <laughs> and plenty to look forward to as well. Um, plenty to look forward to as well, along with March, which oh my god looks amazing thank you wow look at y'all look at y'all go with that it looks amazing thank you appreciate that yep. yes of course trying to get some new logos going and uh i mean that logo i guess to touch upon the logo for everybody that's been wondering um i was kind of like stuck like i didn't really have a logo in like i just made music like i never really like had that in mind and then shout out to Zade if you're listening Zade um Zade just made the Michael Jackson cover with the blacked out vision and I was like I guess and I remember like back then when I made the logo I was wearing like a lot of Obey and I really like Shepard Fairey like the owner of that like just his visions and like just something that is eye appealing like you're like yo what is that like and then you really dig into it and then you know you find what's underneath the surface so shout out to Zaid for that that was 2018 you made that officially oh interesting interesting and i was just about to ask about the logo that you guys have is that like a is firstly is that woman real like 
do you have any relationship with the woman that's on the, you know, the, in the logo? Like, what is up with that? So actually, it's not just one of our women. The uh, person on it is Michael Jackson. Just kind of like distorted. Yeah. Uh, we put the blacked out vision on it. Yep. Um, and yeah. Oh, oh my God. I just called Michael Jackson a woman. I'm, oh, <laughs> he'll curse me for our- That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. nah, <laughs> it's terrible. Oh God, he'll kill me. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh, God, I'm sorry, Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's definitely I am feeling though. It's gonna be in your nightmares. <laughs> oh, who said nightmares? Who said that? Sorry, eight times. Sorry, eight times. Dang it, you'll pay for that. <laughs> you'll pay for that. You're not far from my eye. <laughs> You're not far from me. Um. But it's crazy though. Even your area, Massachusetts, uh, Linfield High School, correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, one thing that's crazy is that I think, firstly, y'all made history because you're the first people from Massachusetts to to be here, so you made history. Well, congrats. Um, that is good to hear. Love that. We'll be making lots of history real that's soon. What I'm saying, yep. you will be. No kidding, you guys will be. Um, and it's crazy though. Like, um, I can like I don't see much rappers from Massachusetts. I've never seen a rapper from Massachusetts. There's Canada, there's St. Louis, but I've never seen one from Massachusetts. So I'm really curious though. Like, how did how like how did you guys get together and get this started? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, out of all of us, we've been loving hip hop since God knows how long, but. I've been rapping since I was about eight, 10 years old, but taking it like really making songs was like around seventh grade with Bakari, Kari eight times. Um, he would just show me like rhymes in his agenda book and we would just like, like work on it from there. And then we just started freestyling in my room. Um, and then I always like had this idea, like, my friends back in the day would be like, never leave your brothers, but not in like a music way, a very different way. But like, I kind of just took that in a different way. Like never leave your brothers. Like, cause that's like all I have. Like my family, you know, my brothers, my girl, like everybody around me, but never leave your brothers came together around 2018 when Bakari like really started writing songs and Bakari has history rapping um, even with his family. Yeah, so like I probably started rapping probably around like 13 with my cousin. Shout out to my cousin, he's, he's a rapper right now. He's doing pretty good right now, shout out to Zito. Um, so then after that, I would just like freestyle with him and then I started write, writing stuff in my agenda book, just like writing down rhymes and stuff, like just for fun type shit. And then um, I started rapping with Max around like seventh, eighth grade. And then he, he wrapped this one thing for me. And then I was like, oh shit, that shit's fire. And I was like, yeah, we should start taking it serious type shit. And then he, he continued to rap. And then I, I didn't, I stopped rapping for a little bit. And then like, in then like 10th grade, then I like actually started rapping. Like we got in the stew. And yeah. Then that's when I was up from there. Yeah, I would say like 10th grade for me and Bakari. Well, Colby, so Colby's a grade above us. And then Vargas, the pimp named Varg, is two grades above us. So we all kind of flow. But um we um <clears> tenth <throat> grade for me and Bakari was definitely big. Like that's when NOI became like an official thing and like people kind of noticed that I wasn't like just doing this for fun. Like I really love hip hop and I appreciate it and value it more than any any form of creation on this earth. And so I dropped my first single, um, A Thousand Bars, that I originally wrote maybe a year before the actual recording. Cause it took a lot for me to like truly get on the mic and like record that. It was a lot. I mean, even looking back on it, like it was definitely like a heavy, heavy song. But from there, um, I dropped about 
two more songs and then that's around the time that I met the third member a pimp named Varg um at Trevor's house uh was the first time that we recorded shout out to Trevor um but Varg's been rapping for a long time. too long <laughs> yeah I mean I started off like listening to music like rap music like in third grade listening to Eminem, Pac, Biggie and all of them start getting big into Wu-Tang so I'm MF Doom and all the meds bro I mean, it, it all started off just listening to those people that kind of set the steps for us to continue our stories. Like, I started getting into writing around sixth grade. I was doing, like, battle raps with my friends in class, get the teachers mad at us. I mean, I remember, what was it, my, like, graduating, like, middle school. Like, we were in the hallways just having a battle rap, just going at each other, me and Carlos, just going at each other. I don't know, I just, like, I've always enjoyed writing and just like putting ideas down on paper and just like forming them into tell a story, forming them with words that yeah. people can visual visualize, right? Yeah. I mean, you gotta paint pictures with words and I, I enjoy that severely. So started getting into writing heavily. Um, I started recording around, I think, what was it like 10th grade maybe? I started putting my music out there. It sounded awful and got awful, but I just still enjoyed doing it. It was, it was good to do, it was fun. And then um, I started hearing Max's stuff. I was like, damn, this kid's got his heat going on. He's, he's got his shit going on. And we started linking up. We started writing together, met with the rest of the NYB, and we've been kicking it off ever since. Yeah. And then around, must have been two, three months after <clears throat> Varg started rapping with us, um, I met the last member, uh, CRC definitely was the missing piece to the puzzle definitely provides some crazy stories through his rhymes this this kid has truly something so no cap yeah CRC. yeah so i'm crc um so what max was talking about so it was probably summer it was after my senior year it was after i graduated and before that you know i, I always grew up loving music like these guys expanded upon you know and i always wrote I wrote some stuff and I toured around here and there, but I never really did the stuff. I never really did anything with what I wrote. And like kind of Max was saying, you got to have a kind of a like confidence uh, in you when you uh, put the words on the paper and kind of spit them, you know, and record. So when I met Max, you know, we started talking and we kind of hit it off and, you know, he, uh, he wanted me in the group and I joined and he gave, you know, he gave me somewhere that I could actually like record and make music. All those ideas that I had stored up, I could actually do something with that. And um, ever since, ever since I met Max, you know, we kind of hit it off. Um, we formed a bond in like NOYB, you know, we're all brothers here and um, kind of everyone in this group. I feel like when we have an idea, um, we can share anything that we make uh, creatively together. So when I got an idea, Max has got an idea, we can just text him and we work on it. Um, that's the same thing we've been doing. And um, yeah, the, I'm, uh, I'm just lucky to be in such a great group and we're about to make some great music, yes, put it that way. So uh, the future is definitely bright. And let's just say the best stuff that we got coming is coming. You know what I mean? It's in the future. So we're just going to keep working on the craft. And uh, hopefully make some um, very good projects, you know, people would like to listen to and enjoy. So, yeah. We haven't even tapped our potential yet. No. Yeah, that's we what I'm saying. have touched the surface. Like, so. Like a scratch. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that is sweet. First of the name is sweet. Like, no, leave me your brothers. Like, like, that touched me. Like, when you said it was like, Dude, that that part touched me for real. Like that's like the name took me places, very lovely places. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, no, I love the name. I mean, it's just something that's you know not out of the ordinary. It's just my brothers, like, and I love to put that into something that I you know do. I love to hang with my friends. I love to make music. I love that now when I hang with my friends, it's just basically making music. Like it's <laughs> like it's awesome. It must be having the having that feeling around friendships, especially y'all's. Like y'all's is like the strongest. Like, thank you. Like I like I heard one time that the strongest friendships are always the one that you hold dear to your heart. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, 
I figured that that this would be for this case because you guys been together for a while. I mean, no, oh, definitely. I mean, and we value NOYB to our hearts, and what NOYB is is us. So I mean, we always, you know, are there for you. I mean, I can rely on these three people more than anybody. You know, like just and you're like anybody. Nice. Let's get to here. So if your car breaks down or uh, you're hanging off the uh, a giant building, they'll be there for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Colby will be awake at what five a.m. Yeah, he probably already sent me a beat before that happened. <laughs> Vargas is up, Yo. chilling with his girl. Bakari's, yeah, uh, I don't even know. Probably in college. <laughs> <Somewhere. laughs> no, nah, but I'm making the truth back. No cop. <laughs> Just hanging out of a building. I'm most definitely there. I got superpowers. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. I'm, I was just telling you, like, I know you, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, dang, the school looks nice. Now, I'm sure you guys are ahead now. Like, you guys are 19 till high school, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're still, I mean, me and Bakari just graduated last year. So. Oh. Yeah, so we're still, we're still all very young. I mean, Varg just turned 22. Colby's going to turn 20 soon. And I mean, we're just all, yeah, we're all still young. We still got so much time and talent. I mean, yeah, that's why we're just so happy about the future. We're just still so young. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And okay, that shocked me a bit. I did not know you guys were 20. I thought you guys were 30, 35, 40. Oh, what? <laughs> Yo, you got to relax. <laughs> People always be telling relax. me I sound mad old. I'm just yeah, yeah, I know. Bark, bark does sound if, old. If we, were 30, if we were 35, our careers would be over. Be... Nah, I don't know, dude. Because <laughs> you got heads like Jonah Lucas and heads. Like, they're popping off now. Like, yeah, they're like 30s and they're popping off now. Yeah. yeah no. we're, we're young. Yeah, we're, we're young. We're we got, we got, we got, still, yeah, it's we got a lot, we got a lot of time. A lot of time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lots of time. You're in your early 20s. You're a group together. Of course, you guys have lots of time. I'm excited to see what you do with it. Get it? Get it? That was, that was a pun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to see what we do with it. So, yeah. I am super stoked. I'm super stoked. Uh, now, there was something, though, that I was very curious about, along with, you know, that piece of work that you made in the summer. What are you guys actually like, planning um, as far as what's going on? So as far as what's going on, um, we're, I mean, we're in the studio um, weekly, um, always thinking of new ideas. Um, we're working on our first studio album. Um, we dropped two mixtapes previously. Um, I just think that we're ready to drop an album instead of, you know, an EP or something like that. Like I, the amount of music that is worth listening to and is not just a collection of music it's a body like it all flows everything fits like you listen to this like you're you're visualizing a place you know so that's what we're trying to really work on is the whole elements of an album you know trying to blend all of those things together make you really feel like you're there um you know including the mixing and making sure that that's all down and making sure every song flows into each other and it's all just one big body but we're working on that um me maxed out i'm working on my album um that i've been working on for about like two years um yeah but i mean colby's working on new stuff i know he's been working on that if you want to talk about that yeah i mean we've been working on a lot of stuff so we're trying to work like max said we're trying to make our first like official studio album. And like he said, that takes a lot of work, first of all, and takes a lot of time. And you know, you can't just rush it out. I feel like we definitely worked hard on the two mixtapes, but I feel like this, we're giving ourselves a lot of time to do it. We're, we're finding inspiration and motivation. I feel like we're sitting down a collective being like, okay, this is what we want to do. This is what it we want it to sound like. And um, just whenever, I personally, I bet it's the same with these guys. When you have free time, you just jot your head, write some notes and, you know, try to continue what we got going and move that momentum. 
like we were going on, we're so young here. And I think I speak for everyone in the room. We're so excited. And I'm definitely so excited to put out this, our first studio album, because I feel like we're going to put out something we've never put out before. Mm -hmm. And I feel Max feels that way with his album that's coming out too. Mm -hmm. So we're, I feel like we're all excited. And me personally, I'm excited. I want to tap into something that I've really never done before um and just try to perfect my craft and make when you listen to it you'd be like damn this is better than anything that he or any of these guys have ever done before because we just really were competing with ourselves and we just mm -hmm. want to put out the best yep. music possible and um yeah wow such exciting news to hear i am so so excited for all all including everybody's future projects uh i'm so excited um it is very exciting to release music, especially at a time where we're going to need it most of all. Not definitely. Yeah. And these props that you're making, um, what do you plan? Like, you knew you're going to release music solely, or and as a group, or was it a surprise? That's a, that's actually a really good question. So, like, the only reason I'm really making an album, and like, I like we always work at we move as a unit so like before even any of my album was in thought it was already discussed and they told me like yes you should do this like i have just a collection of songs that are just you know i don't want to just sit in the vault and i think that we're trying to move more towards making songs as a group because all of our best songs are when we're all on a song mm -hmm. so i think as solo work we should all have you know our solo pages drop solo singles and you know definitely have our own albums and eat whatever we want to make as you know as our own rapper and our own writer and as our own individual but as a unit we all have to be like on a song um i think that's probably one of our biggest goals for this next album too is to just all be on at least you know two to three at minimum but you know, we like all four of us on that for sure. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. It's really cool. And it's really cool that you've been planning solo music. So I thought, because I thought, you know, since you guys were a group, I thought you guys were just going to be, you know, just going to keep doing group group work over and over and over again. It's not you guys are branching out solely and making music, but still keeping together. That's, that's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we all just value each other, whether they have a song or anybody has a song, you know, I mean, they can make that as their own single. And, you know, I love that. I love having them. I love making them, I'm not making them, but I love helping them to become who they are and like having this platform for them to just discuss their ideas. And I love moving as a unit. Like, I love this, you know? Yeah. If I could touch on something too, it's, um, I feel like, each four of us have our distinct own flow and style that we have. And as good as it works, like Max was saying, solo or alone, uh, I feel like when we all come together, it uh, really meshes and intertwines and it really goes good together. And that's one of the things of being in this group. I, I feel like when we come to the studio, we can make a song with all four of us and we can get all, on of it and um, we can just make a great song. So. I definitely feel that. And um, though I haven't heard anything so, uh, so yeah, um, I feel like that's always been the case with bands. You know, they always sound the best when they're together, honestly. That's yeah. that's how I feel. You know, they always sound the best, you know, when they're all together, you know, enjoying, you know, their company. Yeah. I always felt that was the best. No, definitely. I mean, even the songs that are on my solo, like, project, I my intents were never for it to be on the solo project it was always i every beat that i find on there i've always asked them like yo you like this you like this one you like this one like i always try and put the group first because that's who we are you know i mean we're noyb before we're you know individuals like we move as this unit no guys i'm about to cry someone got me a tissue hurry <laughs> <laughs> The water's coming down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, 
but I do absolutely love what you guys got going on. I, my one thing that I hope for is that you keep it going. So I want to know, and it's okay, you don't have to answer something for like the private, uh, but your goals and ambitions and what's to come later, you know, what's to come next for the group and for yourselves. For the group and for ourselves, I mean, the group, uh, that, I mean, this is, oh, this is definitely in depth. Um, yeah, I mean, say that question one more time because I want to really get this one down. Uh, okay, so um, what are the goals and ambitions for the group and for yourselves? What's that coming next for y'all? Oh, goals and ambitions. I think Bakari definitely will speak on this. Um, goals, definitely definitely get some songs that hit like 10K, 10K type shit, you know, some smooth. Like, we would start getting our views up more like that, like, and get more known, you know, that just like the start, just the kickstart to it. Because as soon as we get a little, a little more attention, that just grows and it grows and it grows because then we're just going to make better music and better music. Yeah. And it's just going to keep growing. Yeah, I think like building off of that, like our goals is to definitely keep building and making this bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger than it ever was. Like, I mean, we just see, like, even though it's small, like, we just love seeing this little growth and it just keeps us going. I think that also leads into the ambition part. Like, seeing us grow is our ambition. Like, that keeps us going. Like, just seeing the growth in every single one of us, like, it's just insane. And everybody knows that. And it's just awesome to see. So I think that's also the ambition in a way. But, like, everybody's own ambition, like, Everybody has, like, Barg has different ambitions. Like, if you want to touch upon that, like, you got... I mean, I feel like most of us, or all of us can agree with this. Like, we just want to get our stories out there. Yeah. We want people to be able to, I don't, I don't know, like, understand our stories and feel the the things we feel, yeah. the things we have to say. <clears throat> I mean, if we, if we can put out that energy out, like, there, and people are enjoying it, even better. Mm-hmm. That's really excellent. And I love your uh, ambitions and, you know, straightforward um, goals, you know, and, you know, those things, you know, they're not impossible. You guys are already talented. You guys are already guarding over um, lots of followings already. So I would yeah. not be surprised if you guys were on Billboard charts. I'm not surprised. Thank you. So we're manifesting the dreams. Yes, sir. I like that energy. I like that I like positive that energy. energy. I love it. Absolutely. I love it too. I love it too. And you know, maybe that's maybe that's a good addition, you know, to have too. And speaking of additions of um people people know and they know now that you're a, a rap group, you're a hip hop group. But there's never been one from Massachusetts, or at least I've never heard any. You're the first ones. We're, what makes you all different from other rap groups that have ever been made in history? Yeah, no, I, that, yeah, I love that question. Um, yeah, they, I mean, I really can't think of a lot of rap groups. Like, I know some, I know some groups that do some hip hop work, um, but they don't really. It's not true hip hop. So, like. There's a lot of groups that kind of rap, but not in, I feel like really not in Massachusetts, but there's a lot of these big names in Massachusetts. I mean, Millie's, there's Joyner Lucas, you have 7891 Cal, you have Cousin Stiz, Cousin Stiz yeah, you, you have, bro. yeah, G, <laughs> like you you have everybody. No, not, not G, but G Fredo. Yeah, I was, I was G, gonna say, G, I was like, G Fredo. Yeah, G Fredo. Free G Fredo. Free Fredo. Free Fredo. Yeah, and then I mean, you got NOYB. So, I mean, that's like honestly the only true hip hop group that's in the north shore i could say i don't know about massachusetts as a whole but at least from my knowledge there's not a lot of hip-hop groups but if there are they're probably really not doing true hip-hop okay. and they don't value hip-hop to the way that we do um and i just people people been playing with hip-hop's name lately yeah they, and I just feel like We're bring it back that's, to yeah, I feel like that's another reason that differentiate, differentiates like us from other groups is we truly love this and we want to see this turn into something that people would value and appreciate 
for the love of hip hop. We like, we do this because we truly love it. We don't do this for attention. We don't do this for clout. We don't do that for anything. We love getting attention for our music because we love to tell our story. Like Varg was saying, we love to, for people to appreciate, you know, what we're recording and what we're spending time and di- countless days and every, like every second of our free time is spent on this. Like there's really no time that I could think of now unless if it's like family that I can just like, you know, just hang. Like I'm always thinking like, damn, I should probably hit up someone right now and have them over and record, you know? That makes a lot of sense. It does. It does make a lot of sense because it's Massachusetts. You know, not a lot of musicians are from Massachusetts, but you guys are making your mark. You're absolutely making your mark. And like you're the first ones from Massachusetts. It's weird. I've done people around the world. And yet you guys are the first one, so. I'd love to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I can't really think of any other groups. But I'd love to hear that we're the first one on this podcast. I mean, we're going to set standards with that, though. Yeah. Like, we're going to be the first, and we're going to put that bar up high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. If you're already possessing talent. I can't wait to see it go up and up and up. Thank you. Okay. The stakes are up so high, so we're coming yeah, for the whole cow. Cool. So, okay, that should be y'all's next song. Should be up unless it matches with the with your project. But I would yeah. love to see that yeah. song. <laughs> Maybe that's already one of my songs. <laughs> Ooh, and I stay. Oh, I stay a little bit too. So I would love to harmonize when you guys, you know, yeah. up or your chorus would be up. I like. I would love to harmonize in the background, or I would see. Uh, I would like to harmonize up. Nah, facts. I feel that. Like, I, I already have a couple ideas. Like, if you guys are going for a, a rith- rhythmic kind of chorus, uh-huh. I mean, I'm down for it. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah. add that laughing. Well, you you, you want to use, use that? You can. I don't care. You guys. That'd be, you, that'd be fine. Maybe I'll sample it. Yeah, after, maybe, yeah, after after it's it's do, do, do that one more time. Uh huh. I could, like, bro, yeah, I'm rocking right rock, rock with that. I'm rocking with that. <laughs> yeah, this should be Varg solo. That's gonna be that's gonna be on one of our next songs. Yay! Yay! That's so ski. wait. Were you guys really serious when you made that praise about it? Are you just faking? What do you mean? Once we hear the recording about when I about when I sang uh, well, well, I harmonized it anyway. No, we're, we're no, being I mean, serious. I mean, yeah, no, you bring different sounds into it and different, like, yeah. the, the conceptualizing of ideas together, like, you bring those things together and it makes a nice masterpiece. Yeah. Wow, sucks, guys. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but I love that you guys are different. You guys support each other no matter what. That's what really is important to me, that you guys stick by each other no matter what you make things happen like you make beautiful things happen no that's important at least to me it is yeah definitely like it's very extraordinary it's very very extraordinary thank you and uh speaking about something extraordinary um first of all congrats on uh, your mixtape now um i have a little bit about it but it's called um in in with the new um, which congrats on the mixtape. Uh, I'm so happy for you. Uh, this was made a, a little a little bit ago. It's fire. It's amazing. You guys got to check it out uh, if you guys can. Um, so, what, so what was up with that mixtape? That, now, that one I felt like was very, was very good, that mixtape. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, just going into it, we really... So previously, about two months before, we dropped um, Out With The Old. Uh, So that was our first mixtape. So going into it, we kind of already knew what the title of it was going to be. And the whole thing wasn't just to have the titles match. It was almost like Out With The Old was getting rid of all this old music that we had collected. And we were just sick of, you know, holding on to it um, because it was really good music. And we had to get that out. and following that in with the new came in so we brought in these new sounds and we brought in what we're kind of going for you know maybe even hinting at the album 
but mm-hmm. we're you know going into that we we really didn't know when it was going to come out but we just kind of kept our you know our mindset going and like our you know just our worth ethic like just going into it like we really didn't have it all planned like i think it all started with like vice city must have been the first song that we had going and then yeah i mean you guys yeah vice city like i mean their process actually like you guys should actually talk about that like what happened because there was two songs right all right so basically vice city is a song that i really fuck with it's very fire so basically the whole process was literally me and crc literally just playing playing music just playing music on the speaker like playing beats just random beats and we found this fire beat no no actually no we was it on that beat yeah it was on yeah, that beat yeah that we, beat. we found a fire started beat freestyling to it brainstorming. yeah we just started freestyling and then we were like whoa that actually sounds pretty fire like we literally made a hook just just like that it was like mad yeah. random but it was fire yeah and i think that like that those songs that they played for me and that we recorded like right after they spit that i mean i remember they were freestyling that and they called me like at least three times they were like yo this is like we we have to go in the studio right now right now right now and then we recorded that and i just remember it just set the whole tone for like the album i mean the mixtape it was just you know these colors like these blues and like these light colors and you know it kind of just from out with the old it was kind of like a darker like you know it kind of just was getting rid of all that and then in with the news like you know you got this like vibe like you're in vice city and then you got make a wish but then you also have these new sounds like we didn't really incorporate a lot of the old school sounds and that's when like me and vargas even call i mean everybody in this group hits hard with it but like that's vargas is like vargas loves that and then i sent quiet storm over to him oh, and then you had what uh, that was Jesus. magic when it was happening yes. bro i mean you bring in quiet storm like we're paying homage to like mob deed themselves bro yeah. like I think that was our first remix, like yeah. truly of an old school goat. But then you had um you had confessions too. Yep. Have to give that to a mortal technique. Yep. And I mean, I don't know. I just love the griminess of rap itself and just like being able to like put bars to it. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. I do love the feeling. And I should know I do I've met a lot of hip hop people like yourselves, like um, a bunch. But it's really unique how uh, how you went about, you know, during the mixtape, you know, especially you know making it personal because these songs, you know, they were made by you, and they're in the vault. So um, that fault that comes to my also follow question: Why are they in the vault so long? I just, I mean, I remember Colby was just agging me to get it out. I just, I really don't know why we just had it in the vault for so long. I think we were just focused on something way bigger when we had to narrow it down to something that was actually reasonable. And I think we were trying to reach for an album at one point that we were just like, there's no way that this would even be worth it in the long run. Mm -hmm. I think that now that we truly have this work going on, we have a place that we can release these songs. And if they are in the vault, they're not in the vault for so long. Or if they do stay in the vault, like we value them, but we know why we didn't put them out or it wasn't just the sound that we were going for. But Mm -hmm. even what's in the vault hasn't been in there for more than a year and a half at most. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, maybe even two years, but that could all, you know, get released at one day. I know Colby has so, like, Colby can tell you more than me, like, he has. Yeah, I would like to speak on some, a couple of your questions. So just to kind of start with it, with the Volt, I feel like when we started working, we just started, you know, we just started spinning. There wasn't much to it. We didn't try to make the best music or search for the best beats or any of that. We just wanted to, when we first got together, we were just originally seeing how we meshed together and putting that on beats and, so I like to record a lot. I like to write a lot. But to answer your first question, I feel like Out With The Old, I feel like that's when we were, I feel like these those two mixtapes, Out With The Old especially, it's like we're almost experimenting with our sounds. We're trying to right. sound, we're trying to listen to all the beats and listen to our music and feels, feel out what 
what like who we are like musically and what type of music that we want to make because we have all these styles that we can do individually and we wanted to experiment and find those things that's why you find a lot of different beats on out with the old and in with the new and i feel like after out with the old once we went into the new we kind of narrowed it down a little bit and like max was saying and bakari was saying we made vice city which is a very like melodic and like vargas was saying you it paints a picture with words almost and when you get to put the words on that beat as simple as that sounds uh makes great music so once we kind of found the sound that we were going for and, and with the new um we kind of just ran with it to be honest and that's something we're going for in our next like our first studio album we're going to try to mix all those sounds together to make kind of one collective great album so I'm very excited towards that. And as good as those two mixtapes are, we're just working to make this next studio album, you know, the best as it can be, so. That's really good to hear. I'm so stoked for it. And like, how was it making this debut album? Like, it must've been crazy though, to, you know, even think about the album after doing over 50 songs and two mixtapes, like, the idea of an album and you know how doing it must be must be crazy for you. Yeah, I mean it's just been a lot of ideas jumbling, um, but I think we're finally you know starting to all see the same vision. Um, I think we all know just what we're going for. Um, I know everybody's trying to you know incorporate what they've been doing best into this, and I mean we're we're trying to just have a good mindset in a good ha like a good environment to be around to look back and be like wow like we really like we're in a good place like making this like I want to look back on this and be like this was like an awesome time in my life like making this album you know and just to keep making more and more and more I mean to even set the tone like we're going we have a trip to Miami in April um all of us so we're gonna go out to Miami to shoot a couple videos um into just getting the right mindset um, of the album. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Very excited for, for that, very excited for that. Oh, wow. Okay, now that was shocking to know Miami, wow. Yeah. Get some now, is that like vacation time or is that work time? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be spring break, but we're still, we're trying to at least record more than 20% of the album out there. Yeah. So if we can get like actual sounds from, you know, Miami, mm -hmm. that would be extraordinary. And to shoot all the videos to really set the tone um, instead of being in, you know, Massachusetts where it's cold, even though it's my home and I love it, we got to be in the right environment to get ready for this because this is going to be, you know, this is going to be the biggest step that we're taking so far. And I'm so excited for everyone. And I'm so excited for NYB as a collective. Yeah. I don't blame you. It's up north. You know, cold isn't even in the description title. It's literally freezing, freezing, freezing. I have a question. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Uh, I'm Texas, actually. So I'm basically a million miles away from you. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, is it warm right now? Absolutely, yes. Um, in Texas, it's uh does not snow here. It yeah. it does not get any colder past 30 uh, degrees. Um, and it only gets 30 degrees sometimes. Most of the time it's usually 60, 70, 80 degrees um most of the most of the year. What, what, what was what was it like to Oh, what was it like uh, living in Texas? Or are you talking about the weather? Weather in Texas, like what was the like, what was the temperature? Um, most of the time, like by season, I think. So in the fall and winter, it would usually drop to about 70, 60, and then the lows of the be would be 40, but 40 would be where it would be sometimes. Most of the time it was usually 50, 60, and 70. Summertime, it could go up to 100 degrees, 90 degrees, 80 on some days in the spring it would be 60 70 80 so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got you yes yeah, i wish that i mean 30 out here i'm just in a sweatshirt 
podcast. I'm out here. Varg's out here. Varg is literally in <laughs> shorts as we speak, and it is going to go down to like 19 degrees. So I have to take my shorts off. So yeah. Varg's also in a tank top right now. <laughs> so I'm 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 blessed to not be able to see them. I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm loving the cold weather. I'll, I'll walk out there naked if I have to. <laughs> Whoa, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? But, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's not far, though. Um, oh. That idea is actually not far from my head, actually. You guys could wound up getting a nationwide tour. My friend who is um, a little for you if he did other music. He's going on his worldwide tour soon. So it could happen. Yeah, I mean, if he needs someone to open or okay. if he has something, you know, if he's willing to even just, you know, get a moment to have a conversation with him, that would be awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm not sure if he's looking for an opener, but. You know what? Here, I'll just DM you um, his contact, and maybe that will fix things. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, that would be nice. I'm trying to find it. I'll find it while I'm trying to find it. Um, I would like to actually dive right into um, trying to remember what it is. Um, actually, I'll do that later. Um, Another thing I do want to be, I am very curious to hear about is usually bands have a giant inspiration. So this could be either for the group or for you individually, which I, which I am fine with. What, in your opinion, I mean, actually in your, in your world, in your point of view, is your greatest inspiration? I mean, I think everyone can touch upon that. Um, but to speak for a whole you know there's there's a whole lot of influences but i guess like i'll start off like um you know a lot of the old school goats like i really look up to you know dr dre um the whole i mean nwa was you know a lot of the inspiration for a group you know and they have initials too and we wanted to make our group just you know and initials you know just simple letters you know um but yeah, NWA, um, Mob Deep, um, Biggie, Tupac. Um, oh, I, I love and hate this question because there's so many, like, many there's ads. so many greats, but, like, a lot of, like, I mean, bringing it to, like, my my generation, like, Mac Miller, J. Cole, um, Eminem, um, so many, but Bakari yeah. has a ton yeah, like, a ton. Well, like my inspirations are probably like go from like Nas to like Lil Wayne. Yeah, so like like definitely Wayne. Like that's probably like the biggest one. Like that's that's like for the first rapper I remember being like, yeah, like this is my favorite rapper. Like he's right. tough. And then like a generation now, like obviously, like I fuck with like Kendrick. Like I fuck with Lil Uzi. Like like all the new rappers too. Like I, I fuck with like a lot of different generations of music. I just, yeah. I, I like, I evolved to the sound. Like even like, like the New York drill sound. Like I like, like everything. Right. Yeah, no, definitely. Kobe has his influences like crazy. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of different influences. Not even just the musicians. Um, I like taking influences and in my favorite TV shows and movies and just things I see. I reference them a lot, you know, when I rap about it too. But honestly, when I grew up, I listened to a ton of Eminem, a lot of Kendrick, um, a, lot of Kendrick. a lot of Logic. Um, then That's I, another good. I like a bunch of old school rock. I love Black Sabbath. I love ACDC. Um, I like, I am very versatile in my movie, uh, my music sometimes. So I like to switch it out. So, you know, I just try, try to take inspirations and motivation in any aspect of my life I can get it, whether that's through my family and friends or any time of entertainment. So. I just try to suck that all in and try to put it into my music. Ah, uh, ama amazing responses. Varg. Amazing. Varg has like a lot of these older influences, but he also has like. Yeah, I mean, I fuck heavy with like Eminem. Like that's what I started listening off to. That one introduced me to rap music. Like it went on from Eminem to Pac, Biggie, N.W.A., Wu Tang. 
I mean, you got Immortal Technique, MF Doom, Kendrick. I love Kendrick to death, man. That man can tell stories yeah. to death, and, and it's amazing the things he can do with it. And I mean, recently I've been messing hard with um, Flapper Zombies, Beast Coast. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just love the music they put out, and it's just like, I mean, you got Michi Darko, like yeah. just the grind and the Swiss. It's great. It is. And I love the old folk, you know, the classics, you know, they're the best, you know, so props to, props to, props to, I forgot the name, but whoever have the old inspiration, you know, like ACDC, those are the best ones. That's me, I see, I see coldest rap creation. <laughs> Absolutely. And they are the best. Honestly, they are the best. You yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Yes. Yeah, so. Especially like ACDC. I grew up with ACDC. Definitely. Yeah. I, I listened to a ton of Black Sabbath too. So, oh, yeah, absolutely. Kendrick, yeah. I, anyone else listen to Damn? Anyone else listen to Oh, oh Damn? Yeah. That's yeah. a masterpiece. masterpiece. Definitely. That's all he left us with so far. I don't know, bro. One day we'll get another one. Hopefully soon. You didn't listen to his recent song? Oh, with the oh yeah, Baby yeah. King? Baby King, that's fire. Yeah. yeah. I'm size. waiting on his project, though. Anything. Oh. Bias. Yeah, yeah, with some family ties yeah, and um, drops, drops Range fire. Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this. <laughs> let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. I know. I'm waiting. The only person, the only rapper that I've seen is Megan the Stallion, Kid Cudi. Ooh, Kid um, Cudi. Oh, yeah, yeah. influence. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that was my childhood that. right there. Drake, yeah. and then um, Ronnie Rich is another one. Yeah, Ronnie Rich is popping. I heard Drake. Right, yeah. yeah, Drake is definitely like a bro. Drake, is, Drake has his bro, name. You can't, de- you can't deny Drake, bro. Drake just dropped hits, bro. Like, oh yeah, did you guys listen to Certified Lover Boy? Anyone else love CLB? Bro, I fuck with that album. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, we team Kanye. Yeah, we team Kanye. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Don, don't let me pull out. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm team. Man. I'm team Lover Boy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, what you what you got for album of the year or for 2021? Oh damn, that's a hard question. Um. Uh, oh, that would depend on the on the subject because um ugh, I'm trying to think because we haven't had much music, have we? Because obviously rap album is Donda. Obviously, that's the one. There uh, it is, yes, okay. sir. Uh, sorry, sorry, Drake, but oh, I went and saw the reviews for your album and they don't look too good. Yeah, I wasn't. You can't get the reviews. You gotta listen. <laughs> you, gotta you gotta listen, listen to yeah. it with your ears. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I just, I wasn't with the hype, and then I listened. And I was like, yeah, I mean, they were all good. You know, I mean, you had Tyler, and that's another inspiration that I really know. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, yeah, Tyler, the creator had a fire yeah, album. Yeah, that, that shit was fire. Uh, that's he's, fuck. he's someone that's pushed the bar. Like, yeah. so, like I mean, I guess, like, music. honestly, like, I, that's, I can't, I can't even believe I missed that. But like, that's. I looked up to Tyler like no other. He was just one of my biggest influences. Like that just really like, I mean, it's in his name. Like he just was a creator. Like, you know, he just like told me to like be myself and like create these things. You know, I love rappers and I love, you know, hip hop that is inspirational and like can motivate you and can tell you the steps to how to do this, even though there are no steps to do this, but like what you can do. Like, you know what I mean? Like just love inspirational hip hop. Absolutely, absolutely. And dude, that I feel I feel you there. I I've been I've been listening to hip hop what uh, um for a very long time. I think since I was old enough to listen to music. <laughs> um so definitely I feel you know the love and, su- and love and support for hip hop. I really do. Oh. Yeah, definitely. And now I'm seeing a huge surge in more rappers, especially Canada. Um, I'm trying to remember what. Yeah, Canada is a it's a big surge there. I'm seeing like oh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's rappers in everywhere. There's a million people trying to do just what we're doing. I we know. just got to do it better. I know that like when you put it in like that scale, like there's so many people out there. That's why like when it all comes down to it, you just got to differentiate yourself, and you know, yeah. the only way to really do that is to stay true to hip-hop and stay true to yourself and i think that's probably one of the biggest things that separates us from others you know hip-hop's name has been played around with so much lately and people are you know i love you know making new branches of hip-hop and you know creating new sounds but i don't like when it's being butchered and 
when people don't like there's pay no homage. Respect to exactly. it. There's no there's respect, no respect anymore to it. So I think that's what we're trying to pay back to hip hop. You know, is this respect that was needed, you know, that's been lost lately. Exactly. And I felt like that too. Honestly, I did feel like people were because as you noticed, there wasn't as much releases, you know, for big artists. Cause you remember, I think 2018 was the last year that hip hop really popped. You know, that was the last year that yeah. hip hop was really, you know, popping. Cause you because you guys know it this year. Um there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't a lot of releases either. Like, you know, no. it was it was Drake, um, Kanye, um, Kid, Megan, it was only a few. Like I didn't see a lot. Like I yeah. didn't see a, I didn't see, you know, I didn't see too many, to be honest. Everybody was going, everybody was going to K-pop and, you know, rock and sour and horse tay. Yeah, that's why we're just trying to bring back hip hop. You know, I just, I don't know. We want to bring back that, you know, I'm not just saying it's going to be 90s boom bap, but like <laughs> we're bringing back, you know, hip hop. You should. You need to. You need to. And if only you on Discord, because God, there's a lot of hip hop artists who fit you. Honestly, there's a lot of them that fit you. You have a method, yeah. Okay. I definitely gotta get into it. See what's up. You should definitely. Actually, all, all four of you need to. No bad. Perfect. Definitely all need to. And they even uh, I'm not even gonna mention the label since you guys are really interested in labels right now. So I'm not even gonna mention it. I would love to hear it. Hear what? Labels. The labels. Oh. Well, since you guys are really curious, I thought you guys didn't like want to because you guys never said that one of your goals, goals was to be part of a label. So I didn't I didn't I, mean, I think our goal, I mean, you know, I, I got most of this down. So I think I mean we're we're trying to build our label. You want to you know, increase think, our influence whichever way we Yeah, can. no matter what it is. I mean, if we do get signed, you know, that it is what it is. I think the whole goal is to eventually make NYB Records a thing. And like... At the end of the day, yeah, we'll always be in NYB. Yeah. Like, like there's always the group. and Yeah, like, the, I mean, there's the group NYB. Yeah, but yeah. then you have, like, the label. Like, I love making music with other people. So it's like, if there's a... I can make a platform for that. Like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that we can do with this. But I think like the whole thing is to just move as a unit and make music as a unit, like as a group, you know, instead of, you know, thinking about it as a label, more of like a business, thing. you know, I think we just have to push our music out there before we absolutely, move, you know, yes, preach on, preach on. See, all this is better than church. Come on. This is, this is really where it's at. <laughs> Thank God it ain't church because I'd be burning up. <laughs> I know for real. I mean, who needs a pastor when you got when you got these guys? Come on. I could, I could say a couple sermons, <laughs> you know. But that's that's what makes us diff. We can preach to you and we we gonna, we gonna, we gonna spit, spit some trap shit. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. I heard one of you guys could say. Who can? Call sing. me. Uh oh, I can sing a little bit. Front I and center. I, you know, my voice is feeling a little, you know, rusty. No, no, no excuses. Come on. <laughs> Let's get it. Here we go. Here all we right, go. Right, right, drum roll, right. drum roll. If I should die. <laughs> is you rocking with that? That was pretty good. That was some heat. That was some heat. That was pretty good. It's um not as good as me, but it was pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I, I can't I can spit all day, you know what I mean? So I can sing all day. So. Sing sing some Mariah Carey. That's not a, that's not a <laughs> well, I wanna actually see that. Come on, sing some Mariah Carey. I wanna see. No, 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 you you sing some Mariah Carey. Oh, oh, no. 
Yeah. She's too high for me. I can't do it. <laughs> Good die. Dude, you're not even singing. <laughs> I need some fries. Oh, uh, no. You made me cry. Oh, my God. Wait, uh, why did she lie? <laughs> Vargas is actually a great singer. Yeah, no, no, no. Not the cap. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty good. Actually, that's Vargas is thinking about his own uh, solo gospel album. <laughs> actually, that would be nice. And I would be happy to join because I know lots of gospel music Ooh. based off gospel. <laughs> Choir type <laughs> Dude, I did that shit years ago. Choir type beat. No, that would be nice. You should. You should rap over a choir beat. And again, I would harmonize in the background. Choir type beat. Choir type Christian music. Yeah, yeah you, should, you always do mixes. Besides, that's a really good way to promote yourselves. Should I make a, I make a drill song on, on a church beat? That would be nice. Actually, I've never heard a drill beat on a Christian beat, though. Go. So if you make that happen, you'd be a saint. All this. No cap. We might go, we might go viral. <laughs> you will, because there's never been a drill on a Christian beat before. You should. You need to make one. No kids. <laughs> but earlier... I don't know a lot of Mariah songs, so I don't know if I can sing it. Just yeah, for whoever said that. Just for whoever. Just for whoever. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I can sing anything. Just so, you, so I can poke at whoever. <laughs> but, wow, y'all made my day, actually. Um, yeah. Love you. Uh, y'all made my day. Uh, oh, she got the vocals busting. Yeah, I'm busting. Busting. I said, God, fuck it. <laughs> I'm trying to think about TikTok of my character. Busting. Busting. Go, fuck it. I, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics, but that's how you, that's how it goes in first anyway. I'm trying to remember the lyrics. Um, oh, but I shouldn't sample, bust it, don't care about it, rip it. Oh, yeah. You know, that's not ready. I'm, I'm going to try again later. I'm going to try again later. <laughs> Wait, did someone just say it sucks? Who said that? No, 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 that. no. He said it, it's busting, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially the times where people would beg me to, you know, rappers say no. Those times, though, were. I work in C. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. What are they? Oh, with you guys. I was like, who the hell is just emailing me? Nah, it's just weird. <laughs> yeah, no, I just sent over those uh those couple tracks. Now who was fast like that? Who's the computer geek? Who was fast like that? Oh, it's definitely me. <laughs> yeah, it, all behind the scenes, like. That's another thing I got to touch upon too. Like all the behind scenes stuff. It's like <laughs> I, I've been doing like all that. Like I've been doing all that. Like the videos. Um, I mean, we have a filmer, Joe. We have a couple other filmers. Um, but it's mainly just me, you know, editing, editing the videos, putting out the music, doing all of you know the graphics and stuff. But I would love a team. You know, we're still we're still looking for a team. I want to make that a little bit easier. I don't want to have to worry about it as much. I would love for you know someone to be a part of the team and for us to help with that. But yeah, no, I'm the I'm the geek behind the camera. <laughs> well, what if I were to tell you that that could possibly be in the works? Ow. Ooh, perfect. Because do you guys actually know how big you'll be? Once you're here, have you guys realized how big you'll be? Once we're what? Once we're where? On here, because I like oh. to I like to leave you guys a little secret. Oh, I, I like, like secrets. Let's hear. It. Let's hear it. Well, your names will be literally in spotlight form because the show's basically everywhere. Just so you guys know, 
you know, once this comes out, everything's polished, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you will be everywhere, just so you know. Like, good you guys know. will be on Amazon Music, Audible, Samsung, um, Apple Podcasts, um, a bunch of other sites on Spotify. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. Um, I was about to say Pandora, but I don't have my show on Pandora yet. And mm-hmm. even on the Spanish and uh, also, you know, that Korean uh, podcast network. I don't remember what it is. Anyway, basically, it'll be everywhere. That's my secret. Surprise. Yeah. That's awesome. I Thank, you. That. Thank I you. I appreciate Thank that. You. Yeah. I mean, we're just looking for that, you know, that exposure right now, you know, trying to get our words, you know, out there to everybody. Well, that is so good to hear. That's so awesome. And if you guys are looking for exposure, there is a little something happening in a couple of months. If you guys want to, you know, take part in it, that's all. Yeah, definitely. What is it? Good question. Um, so have any of you ever done a virtual show before last year during the, not last year, in 2020 during the pandemic, have you guys ever did a virtual show ever? No. no. Oh, okay. Um, what am I going to tell you that that could happen? I mean, that'd be wonderful. That would be, yeah, that would be perfect. Then I would love to surprise you guys with an early treat. We are putting together a little virtual uh, special get-together in April. Um, we haven't figured out the details yet, but I'll keep you updated. Um, I'm, we are right now, we're trying to get signups started that's all um so i was gonna open up to you guys and see if you guys wanted to you know come you know perform for us because our last concert we did got right now it has over 200 views already okay yeah no, I'd, I'd love to you know we'd love to be part of that for sure and the guy that runs it with me is a record head. So if he likes you, if he really likes you, it yeah. could be your lucky day. Fingers crossed. Oh, wish come true. Right. <laughs> That's lit. That's very lit. Yes, sir. Surprise! Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. He's definitely going to be jacking. He's going to be jacking us. Yes, sir. And that's not even half what I got planned for all this, and you're going to be right in it. That's not even half what I got planned. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. That's not even half what I got planned. Um, we appreciate it. Aw. Anyway, um, thank you guys all for... Uh, I'm going to stop emphasizing for. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, tonight. It was such a treat getting to meet you all and... It's it's amazing to see talent as strong, energetic, brilliant, momentous, ambitious, and as beautiful as yours. Um, thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me from the bottom of my heart. That means a lot to me. Oh, thank you. I very much appreciate you having us. Oh, uh, of course, of course. And I appreciate the side questions too, especially that one person who wants me to say no. Who's that one person so I can remember so I can get back at you later? Who? Who's it? I said what? That was me. That was our pimp named Varg. Are you that same guy that said you could sing? No, nah, that's a that's, that's a, a CRC. <laughs> well, I'll let you go for the road. Ha, ha. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Of course, I'll leave you off the road. <laughs> Thanks for having us. This was this was a great experience. I mean, I just love the energy of being able to go back and forth and talk with people. Yeah, facts. Yeah, of course, this was so fun, and I love groups. I love groups, and I actually have not done a rap group in a while. So it's been actually over a year since I did a rap group. So you guys were the first rap group in over a year. Perfect. Love to hear that. Glad to be the first. Absolutely. You guys are the first, the one and only NLYB. Sir. 
Yeah, Cersei. Okay. The one and only. Um, but I want to thank you guys again for joining us um, tonight. It's been intriguing to meet you. And hey, better not forget about me. You better not do that move they do. No, that is not us. <laughs> so when I come to visit, you better not forget. You better not say, oh, we don't know who this guy is. We forgot. Don't yeah, forget that. Bakari said that you can stay at his house. Yeah, facts. Really? Yeah, you can cool it at my room. Oh, that would be so nice. Um, actually, I'm planning on going in a um, in like a year or two, so that will definitely be my bucket list. Well, I, don't know, I don't have a guest bed, though, so you got to sleep in my bed. <laughs> oh, you better not do anything shitty in the bed. You better not do that. What do you mean shitty? <laughs> I meant secret things you'll do in the bed. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, my friend once stayed over, and it was with a girl, and the girl snuck a piece of chocolate under his pillow and then turned off the lights and turned on a giant disco ball in the center of the room. So just hoping something that's going to happen. Nah, no, no disco balls. Nah, just... maybe, maybe some red LED lights. <laughs> that's cute. I can, I can live with that. See the valley? I, I can live with that. Um, and I'm guessing you guys are still... And um, and <laughs> Linfield, are you guys still around there? You guys moved again. No, uh, still uh, yeah. uh, wait, wait, what do you mean? Well, we'll yeah, start. we're all in Linfield. Um, Bakari lives in Boston. Um, but yeah, me, Var, Colby, we all are from Linfield. Colby actually used to live um, three houses down from me. Boston. Uh, you mean the one in Massachusetts, that one? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you're a Texas girl. Oh, uh, I miss Boston. I went there um, years ago, actually. It was either for a class trip or I went there for business, but I did. I do miss Boston. It was so nice when I went. No, yeah, Boston's awesome. I, I mean, I love Boston. It's, I mean, it's just cold. That's the only thing. I know, but, but the time I went was like in the summer. The time I went was like, in the summer springtime it was like april may-ish um uh, the time i went anyway. yeah yeah i mean it, yeah, yeah that's not a bad time it's still just kind of cold it's it's really rainy around that time eh, I can look that. it's still boston it still rocks yeah no definitely absolutely and y'all made my night actually y'all made my night it was so fun and i just had my hard day of yeah. work and you know, we're all excited to be here. No, we're but, all happy. We all appreciate you, you know, having yeah. us on this. Yes, of course. It's, it was awesome, but Bakari, if you do ever come, Bakari does have a place you can stay. Oh, I know. I know for a fact. <laughs> I do know that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, thank you. Appreciate it. No, this. but no cap. Should that Max Stone said he got you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. You guys are so sweet. Uh, you visit Boston. Boston's a beautiful place. Like, oh so. yeah, I I need to go back anyway. I do need to go back. Honestly, I do. Uh, I'm about to. I'm supposed to do a joint uh, type of thing in my in college. I'm supposed to do something. I'm supposed to pick it outside. You know, maybe I can work with Boston University. Maybe it'll be a nice excuse to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's tons of colleges up here. Nah, but... Oh, yay. Maybe I'll think I will come out with a professor that I will pick Boston University. I'll make my next big trip over there. <laughs> we welcome you with a with, uh, warm hug. Uh, I would love that. Maybe I'll sing for you. Who knows? Yeah, right, okay. That'll be fire. Varg wants it. Yay. And is it is this your first interview ever? Did I just crush that? Did I just crush your first interview? Oh, no. I, did yeah, I do that? No, no, no. This was yeah, this is our awesome. first very it's interview awesome. ever. Wow, guys, look, did I just crush it or what? Yeah, Hello. Yeah, awesome. Look at me. Yeah. Look, at me. <laughs> look, look at me. I appreciate your questions and like also building off of those questions. Oh, and, yeah. You know, very much appreciate that. 
Yeah, of course. Here we talk about everything. We talk about everything. Because some musicians, they don't ever return back or they don't ever come back. So we got to cover everything. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I just said definitely. Oh, yeah. But hopefully you'll be back very soon, will you? Oh, yeah. That's good, because I wouldn't want any betrayals. Not at all. Oh, this was an awesome experience. Aww. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, you guys are my homies now. You guys are your friends and you guys are part of me now. So basically I'm jotting down right now, actually. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, we have a lot of fun, but um, I do want to give you guys a little bit of time for your fans. So is there any last things that you guys would like to say to the audience or the fans out there um, before yeah. uh, any, before anything, before, you know, what happens? <laughs> yeah, no, I want to say, you know, shout out to everybody in NOIB, you know, besides, you know, us four, um, everybody behind the cameras, um, shout out to Gaff, Rates, Alec, Tanner, uh, Luca G. Marco, uh, you got Joe doing film, uh, Nick Jacobs, you got, uh, we got Joey, we got Kenan, we got Muzzy, we got, uh, the Freights, we got Harry, we got everybody. And then, you yeah, know, like, that's what, that's what I have to give my bad. I don't know you're telling, I had to say, like, shout out the gang, I don't YP, like, shout out my moms, my pops. <laughs> my uncle. Oh God! My cousin, <laughs> my great grandma, my barber, <laughs> my suit stylist, the people at Foot Locker, my boss, my ancestors, <laughs> my great 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 grandmama. Seriously. <laughs> no but um straight up like shout out to everyone that's ever supported us yeah, through no, this road real. like they've always kept us going they've always gave us the energy we wanted and we feed off it not for sure that keeps us going like we, we're making this music to tell our stories to keep our stories going mm-hmm. and that's how we want rap music to carry on yeah and i appreciate everyone that's you know been there from the start you know, whether it's like in a post you know sharing it you know giving it a comment you know showing it to other people. I just appreciate any form of, you know, you appreciating what we do. Shout out to K. All right, you're cut off. Shout out Obama. <laughs> you're cut Shout out Obama. Out. You're cut off. <laughs> okay, I'll say it's like, we gonna go there now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. <laughs> As you guys can see, a little too much fun. I'm thinking one of them probably got too much champagne. <laughs> yep. Too much hashish, Bacardi. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, that was spot on. <laughs> that was spot on. <laughs> that should be the first stop we go to when we visit. We need to go and get champagne balls and do a shower. We need to do a shower. Uh, <laughs> fuck with hard alcohol, like vodka, shit like that. Yes, so absolutely. I'm down. I'm- no, uh, I'm into wine. I'm into. I, I love. I think Red Bull. I love too. What about the Casamigos? Oh yeah, that's nice. And I love Corona. I, Corona Extra. I love too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You fuck yeah. with Hennessy? A little bit. Had family there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to check out NLYB. That alone was provided for you. Of course, they do need team members. So if you guys are really into musicians or you're looking to do that, I suggest you join. I would. I would love you. Definitely. Seriously. Um, anyway, I will catch you, except y'all. Seriously, don't leave yet. Um, the rest of you 
Uh, on the next interview, have a wonderful evening and ha- enjoy the rest of 2022. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys on the next time. Peace out. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight as we dove into a wonderful podcast episode. Now, in this following segment, you will get a chance to hear this artist to showcase because every artist that comes on the show requires to do a showcase. So buckle up, get some popcorn, and enjoy the showcase. I hope you guys love it and check out the artist when you get a chance to. Hope you guys love it. Enjoy. Enjoy.